YouTube. Got an unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. I got the T-Mobile version. AT&T's uh, limited data wasn't working for me, so. And that uh, contract waiting all that time just to get another phone. Also, wasn't working for me. So I just went to the store and picked this up. Take a look at the back of the box. Well, I guess I took the actual paper off. We have that T-Mobile Samsung Galaxy Note 3. It runs on uh, T-Mobile's 4G LTE network. Screen size is 5.74 HD Super AMOLED display, which is ultra bright. Ultra bright, I mean. Blah, 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 blah. Can't even talk. You can see right there. It's not the one I'm unboxing, though. Um, got that S Pen. A 2.3 quad core processor. Watch on. 13 megapixel camera. 2 megapixel front facing camera. Of course, Android. I guess uh, Google really wants that to be a uh, said. Got your full HD 1080p playback and recording. Super AMOLED. Wi Fi certified. Safe and all that. Blah, 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 blah. Let's see. Get into this box. Still got the stick on it. Thanks to T-Mobile for not actually touching my device. Actually letting me take it home without it being opened. Let's see if we can get this on without getting any pieces of the cardboard off. Not a bad job. Got another one at the top. There goes our 5.7 glory right there. Even though I have one here, this one is for my wife, so I gotta take my time and enjoy the one I have for myself. Okay, well, I guess that doesn't stick. Got the advanced SIM card. I have no idea what that is. Ice is ready. I should probably uh, take a look into T-Mobile and see what ICE stands for. See if I have the wrong SIM card in my uh, phone. Open it up, see what else comes inside there. Gotcha. Welcome, startup guide. Things you ain't never gonna read. If you wanna recycle. Terms and conditions, warranty. Got your new USB plug. Which is supposed to like transfer data and charge the phone even faster. USB 3.0, I think, or whatever it's called. Um, this looked like some S Pen tips, extra tips for the S Pen. I don't, I don't see what the purpose of this will be, because I still got my S Pen from my first Galaxy Note, never broke. 
but it's always nice to have extra stuff. Extra air tips. You got the um, not so bad headphones, the flat ones. They they don't tangle too much. They decent, but I stay with my Beats. And here's that huge battery. The battery actually feels heavier than uh, the phone. The phone feels like paper. I wish it actually felt like this with the battery in it, but still probably much lighter. Note 2. There's a bad boy right here. As you can see, my screen is, uh, yeah, cracked. Very heavy. Let's get this battery out so we can charge up this bad boy. Very hard to do this with one hand. I apologize. We got it finally. See if we can get some sound out of this screen. Mm, well, pretty satisfying. Just knowing it's new. The back of the phone. Very textured. Looks like somebody was already playing with the plastic that was on the camera which is pretty odd because it was sealed tight maybe I'm just being paranoid being extra picky let me get my sim card out of here those who watch my channel you know I'll be going for them real reviews no timeouts, no breaks. Here, take a look at this and see if it's the same SIM card actually. To the one that comes in the box. If I know where I put it. find the actual SIM card thing came with the phone. Maybe I'm sitting on it. Maybe not. Oh well. I'll definitely take a look into that a little bit later. So let me check over here. This right here. Yep, found it. Let's see, is this the same thing? Uh, no, it is actually not the same. If you can see that right there. That says ISIS ready. And it says ISIS right there on the SIM. Just for those who have T-Mobile, definitely might want to take a look at this. Because maybe some features are not as good. 
without the SIM that actually comes in a box with the phone. Because it's called an advanced SIM card. So, yeah, I might want to uh, definitely take a look into that. But, anywho, for now, let's throw in this SIM. And throw in this giant battery. Put this uh it's still like um plasticky but not as flimsy as it y usually is i think because they just put this little they kind of stuck this to the actual battery the normal battery cover that they have feel feels very nice the texture feels leather like I should say leather like not that glossy slippery um, back that we used to seeing on the galaxy phones take this off the camera Sit back playing with this damn plastic yeah stick right there more plastic all over the phone. Some more. Guess they were trying to make sure this phone is nice and protected. Hopefully we don't have a defected unit. Let's take a look around the device. Once we finish getting all these plastics off. I think we're all done. Almost. Two more. Qualcomm sign. I get it. It has the new Qualcomm 800 chip in there, which is a monster. Clocked at 2.3 gigahertz. <sighs> Let's go for the boot up. Samsung Galaxy Note 3. I wish I could have heard that Samsung sound, but instead they're probably going to hear, right before I could finish, probably going to hear the T-Mobile loud, obnoxious sound. Let's go with next. Wi-Fi, yeah, let's turn that on. And still, my problem with the note is right here. My finger seems to get caught on the new USB port anyway just connect to Wi-Fi right now Wi-Fi calling, which is always great. If you got bad signal. Samsung account, let's sign in. Sorry about this. Google, yes, sign into Google. I get another thing to sign into. Let's 
signing in. Back up. Yeah, why not? Let's agree to it all. Phone belongs to hmm, my boo. Dropbox. We're gonna skip that for now. Gonna name it. The Galaxy No Three. Yeah. We don't need to give it any other name. System manager. Da 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 da. Okay. Three. So let's flick upward from the bottom to bottom of the screen to open a magazine probably has a bunch of uh, a bunch of buttons let me switch my get more in a comfortable position so I can start up with these uh, this is very, this bothers me a lot. Every time I touch this, I can almost open the phone, like. <sighs> Anywho. Couple things we need to do straight out of the box. If you want your phone to really operate at its peak. You want to go to general. About phone. Maybe I should tap this light off. About phone. Go to build number. Keep tapping it until it gives you developer options. Hit the back button. Go to developer options. And you want to speed up the animation. See the window animation scale. Set up 1x. Let's put that at 0 0.5, 0 0.5, animator duration 0.5, all of it at 0 0.5, that should give us a, a little bit better speed, and then tap the home screen twice, and confirm S voice, Agree. Next, 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 next. Finish. Well, actually, the light is uh, helpful, so I don't want to mess it up. Finish. Go into the options. Right here where it says open via home key, click that off. Because that makes the phone lag a lot. See how fast that went to the home screen. I should click that off. It says swipe from the bottom to the top to bring up magazine. This is probably another thing that probably slows it down. Uh, let's agree. Why not? Agree. Agree. Start it up. Go into options settings see open using the home key we don't want to do that and there we go that's that lightning fast speed i don't know what's going on with this uh the downloads i am connected to wi-fi there we go that beast of a phone 2.3 gigahertz quad core snapdragon 800 processors awesome That was a quick unbox. Well, to forget it, it wasn't quick. That's the real way how to set up your phone if you want it to operate at its peak. 
and almost lag free. Let's see what else we need to do. We need to make sure we get a battery percentage. So we're going to go into display. Go to the bottom and right there it says show battery percentage. Let's turn that on. There we go. 61%. That's not bad out the box. Screen timeout. I got to keep that at one. I don't want it to keep shutting off on us. I didn't go around the device, did I? Well, let's bang that up. At the top, you have your 3.5 headphone jack. Got your AR blaster. You can even do a little demonstration with the AR blaster real quick, why not? Video's already long. Uh, let's see. Samsung apps, most likely. Watch on. Let's see if we can get his own name. Select your country, USA, zip code. Let's see. Uh, I'm not sure if I know the zip code. Hold on. Let's go. 02301. I think that's my zip code. Yep. We have. Xfinity Yes, have channel 125 Personalize, I agree Set up now TV brand I have Samsung. Let's see if it works. Let's see if we can get it to zoom in. Yeah. And there it goes. It turned off the TV. This code. Yes, this code worked. Set up the top box. Comcast. Cables actually changing channels. Can't even notice because I turned the TV off when I was supposed to be turning it on. But it definitely works. Let's see. Cable box. Where are you? There we go, cable. Let's see. Uh, Back for the Comcast. Let's see. Yep, actually changed the channel. Yes, code one worked. So my TV's all set to be working with my uh, phone. Give you a little subjection so I can turn that off. Go onto the TV, power off the TV. Let me see if I can zoom out so y'all can catch this. Yep, power back on. Power back on. Let's see if the volume works. Oh, let's change to the video game first. Chance to the PlayStation. 
volume works fine. That was a quick little demo of the AR blaster. Sorry for digressing, but showing y'all the goods. Not got anything wrong with that. It's the AI bl AR blaster. On the right side, you have your power button. Bottom, you have the S pin right here. Let's take it out. They made it nice and actually made it slimmer. Let me see if I can zoom into this. That's the S pen. Gave us a little bit of rigids on the other end. If I can zoom into this. Well, my HTC One is not agreeing with me to zoom in. There it is. If you saw them rigid Samsung logo. As soon as you take the pin out, it gives you a pop-up menu, which you can uh, use action memo, scrapbook, screen write, S finder or pen window or air command pen window. It's called the air command. And how let me see how you turn it off. Maybe you just press it again. Nope. Just touch anywhere on the screen and that goes away. Pen definitely feels good in the hand. So does the phone. Feels better hold, holding it in the hand than it was with the note too. I can wrap my fingers around this almost. Wasn't able to get that close with the note. Uh, wasn't able to get that close with the note too. So they made it kind of thinner. And a tad bit longer. Let's see. If I have my note too around here somewhere. There it is right here. Almost the same size. But this one's thinner and with the bigger screen. Which is pretty good. Also very light compared to this heavy one. But no disrespect to the note too, that's a beast of a phone. Um, I think that's about it.